Hey guys, welcome to another video here in my channel. What is up? So today I will be reviewing the Nikara Colorful Unicorn Cushion Foundation. Tama ba yung kasabi ko? But yeah, this is really really hyped, and I'm going to start a new series here in my channel that is the YouTubers made me buy it. This is not a new series, you guys. A lot of people, a lot of YouTubers have been doing this one. But I figured since and dami dami nating local YouTubers na nagre-review nagre-review and nagpapa-hype ng mga products why not review them for you guys as well and not really for you but also for me I really want to know what makes these products so hype up and if it will work for me as well so I'm going to start it with this um this is the product that I mentioned earlier pa I don't know bakit hindi ako nagsimula dun sa series and ito yung sinimula ko but anyway um this has been highly raved about a couple of YouTubers already, a lot of YouTubers actually, but I'm going to name the first YouTuber na napanood ko to, and that she is a very good friend of mine. I love her so, 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 so much. She's Jensa. If you're not yet subscribed, what are you doing? Bakit sa akin napanood niyo ko, pero hindi kasi nakasubscribe sa kanya. But anywho, she's Jensa. She, she raved about this. Sa kanya ko una tong nakita and if anyone uh, and if anyone who kung sino man ang dapat na mag-review ng ng cushion na ganito ang itsura siya yun dahil this is actually her personality. Ayan, hindi ko. Pero anywho, um if you would like to know my thoughts about this product then please stay tuned. <laughs> How it looks like it is such a pretty cushion. As in, talagang if you are a '90s kids like me, if you are into Lisa Frank, or if you are into those pens na pag binaliktad baliktad mo, nagkakaroon ng glitters and stuff, this will very much remind you of the '90s. So, sobrang Lisa Frank siya, sobrang Lisa Frank inspired siya for me. And ayan, it's so cute. You probably see this everywhere, like I said. But yeah, it's just the prettiest cushion product that I have seen everywhere. I mean, I have I have seen a lot of um, a lot of Korean brands come up with their own cushions, pero ito talaga ito talaga yung pinakamagandang cushion na nakita ko so far. So, also this is only for like it ranges from 425 to 500 pesos depende sa nagbebenta, pero ang pinakamurang nakita ko is 400 pesos, pero I'm sure tumaas na sila ngayon. So, I'm going to link where I I'm going to link the Shopee where I got it. So I am in the shade of N21 feeling ko. Ito yung shade ko kasi ito yung nasa gitna. Um pataas siya. So like for example, N22 is tama ba? N22 is the lightest, N21 yung nasa gitna and N20 is the darkest. So palaging out of stock yung N20 and N21 as far as I know. So ayan siya. So let's get started. So, I will not apply any primer so that we can see if it settles on my pores. I will be testing out the longevity of this one in the future. Um, I will just be attaching it in here because I cannot test it right now. So, ayun, so let's just see this. So this is what it looks like inside. When you, So, it, it looks like any other cushion. It, it comes with a ruby cell sponge inside and then as for ayan na pop up mo rin siya but it's not it doesn't come with a refill so it's so that's maybe that's why it's also cheap or affordable because it it doesn't really come with a refill pero na pop up mo rin siya i don't know if if in thailand may mabibili kang refill nito and ayan tinanggal ko na yung um yung seal niya dito meron siyang another seal this one so don't be don't be deceived or anything because um, the mirror is actually um, not really sealed. Pero merong takip yung mirror. So, ayan. And the mirror is actually nice. Hindi siya, hindi wonky yung tingin mo sa kanya. Hindi siya parang plastic or anything. It is a real. It is a real mirror. So, ayan. Sealed din siya. And dalawa yung seal niya. Isa sa mismong, isa to protect the cushion. And then isa to, I don't know, basta dalawa yung seal or yung design niya actually it's just, I just realized it when I really looked into it na star pala yung design niya sa mismong cushion so we're just going to use the sponge and ayan siya 
I'm going to do my right. The I'm going to do this half first, and let's see kung magiging maganda pa talaga ako maganda yung coverage niya and stuff. By the way, that is shade 21. Medyo malapit. Malapit naman siya actually sa skin tone ko. It's yellow undertone. Ano ba yan? Ang buhok ko. Okay, to give you a further... Um, ayan. That is shade 21 on my skin tone. So, pwede na. Na. So let's see. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but hindi na cover lahat lahat ng rednesses ko. And there is still some redness peeking through right here. Um, it doesn't match my skin tone exactly kasi medyo darker siya and medyo mas, and medyo mas yellow tone siya than my skin tone. But I can... But, it, but it's... I mean, it's okay. It's not... It's not as bad. But the coverage is really nice. But there is just some redness peeking through right here. So we're just gonna go for another layer and then punta na tayo sa kabilang side. We're adding another layer right here. So I'm just gonna add another layer here for my broken capillaries. Misan dun ko na test ang longevity ng foundation ko eh, or ng concealer ko. Kasi kahit na matingu pa siya dito, lumilitaw at lumilitaw yung broken capillaries ko. Kasi kahit na gano'ng kaganda yung coverage niya, that's my cat. Kasi kahit na gano'ng kaganda yung coverage niya, yun niya, nag-fade pa rin siya sa area na yun. I don't know why. But, yeah, I hope I'm making sense. So, meron pa rin talaga. Like, may rednesses pa rin dito. And, I can see the texture. Um, baby, because hindi nga ako nag-prime. So, yun na yun. That's, that's maybe the reason why. So I like it. I like the coverage. So we're going to we're going to do another layer here. Well, we're just going to even it out. Dito na tayo, move on na tayo sa left side. And there you go. I have already applied the single layer here in my left side. What I noticed first hand or the first time is that ayan I emphasize niya yung dryness ko here. Kasi sobrang dry talaga nung baligid ng aking lips. Especially here in this area sa left side. So, ayan. Nakikita ko na nagsasettle siya dito. Especially dito sa aking baba. Um, mas marami kasi akong redness dito. So, dito okay naman siya. Nakovera naman niya. So, I'm just gonna add another layer to sort of like even it out and also really hide that area. I'm not sure kung magko-concealer pa ako pero malamang. Pero dito lang naman. But you guys, I really do like the coverage of this one. The hype is real when it comes to the coverage. Ayan, pak talaga siya. I'm also going to add one right here. Oh, there you go. There. So there you go. So that's sort of like two layers of the cushion foundation in my face. Not really two layers, pang more of like one and a half, because I just um, layered here. Dun lang ko nag layer. So I'm just gonna finish the rest of my face and I'm going to give you my final thoughts. Hey guys, I am back. I'm done doing my makeup. So this is how it looks like when you've already set it, when when you're when you've already concealed and stuff. So ito na yun ang arte ko <laughs> 
but yun. So, ito na lahat yun. I'm done, make, I'm done doing my makeup. I did use a concealer right after because I want my makeup to be fully packed because I'm going to film another video right after this one. But don't worry when I do the longevity test, um, which you will see right after this footage, or which you will see a bit later. I will not be doing a full on I, w I will I will not be doing a full on pack makeup. I will just be using this and this alone without the primer. I did not use a primer today though. Without the primer, without concealer. Ito lang talaga. Hindi ako sabihin nyo na. Ito lang talaga so that I can further show you and be honest with regards to the longevity. So, um, just first thoughts. Um, right off the right off the bat, I will tell you guys that the packaging, with regards to the packaging, it's really nice. I really do love it. Um, it's just, it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's cute. Um, if you are into that really cute um 90s Lisa Frank vibe, then this is the this is the cushion for you. This is one of the prettiest cushions that I have ever seen, and mura pa siya, you guys. So I really do love it. Um. As for the um, as for the details that is in this carton, it has the ingredients naman. The one that I the one that I don't see in here, unless malabo lang talaga yung mata ko, is yung yung container yung ano yung pag it says um, it says the longevity right after you open it. I don't know how it I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to put in here a sign. But yeah, that, that, that's the only thing that is missing here. But it says here that it was manufactured in October 2018 and it will expire in October 2023. That is five years. I really don't recommend that you use this for that long because it will just... No, no, no. Um, another thing for the packaging, it, um, the, this one pops up out of the component. Um, I'm not sure if this is again refillable. I'm not sure if you can buy this one individually. I will let you guys know. And you ask for the price. Like I said, it varies from reseller to reseller. Some sell it for 420, 450, 460. Mine I got it for 499 because the time that I got it, it was sold out everywhere. It was out of stock. So siya lang talaga halos yung nagbebenta. Wala si Chimiyuki, wala si Gigay si Maria, wala yung iba. And up to ngay maski nga ngayon halos wala pa nito eh. yung yung binalhan ko nito siya lang yung merong say 21 as far as I know I'm not I'm not sure don't take my word for it but the moment that I got this siya lang yung merong say 21 so medyo mahal talaga siya so yun it varies from reseller to reseller but if you ask me it is still affordable it's still one of the most affordable cushions that I've seen in the market today um as for the longevity I don't know yet because like I said, I will be trying this out um, one of these days and I will be letting you guys know how it lasted on me um, without the concealer, without the primer because right now, sobrang, right now I, I have a primer, um, no, I don't have a primer on I have a concealer on and I did bake because I really want my foundation I really want all of this to last because I will be filming another video there's no, um, it doesn't smell anything in particular. Wala siyang, wala siyang particular na amoy or anything else. As for the shade range, I believe they only have three shades as of this moment. I wish that they will come up with more shades that will better fit everyone's skin tone at least. Yung medyo nakayan naman nila ng konti yung shade range nila. Kasi yung 21, it's not really my perfect skin tone. It's, it doesn't really match me perfectly. It just works, but it's, it's not really there. So, ayun. So, it's it's too yellow tone for me. Pero kaya naman. Okay naman. The coverage is really, really nice. Um, like I said, hands down ako sa coverage na ito. Um, it does settle, however, um, on my dryness right here and also dito. Napansin ko na lang nung nagko-conceal na ako. So, those are my thoughts about the Nikara Colorful Unicorn Custom Foundation. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Follow me on all of my social media profiles which I will be linking down below subscribe you guys and hit that notification button down below that would really 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 help me and also feel free to comment suggest or whatever um, a future video that you would like me to do maybe a tag review or whatever it's just you know I'm open to all suggestions and I love you guys and I will see you guys in a later video bye bye
Hey guys, so now we will be testing the wear time of this Nika Unicorn Foundation. It is March 29th, 11.58 a.m. as far as I know. Pero yun, so, um, ayan na siya. Ito na yung full-on makeup ko. Well, not really full-on makeup because I did not apply primer and also concealer. Tapos hindi rin ako masyano nag-powder. Konti lang para lang may kapitan yung, um, yung contour and yung blush and yung highlight. Pero, ayan siya. Let me show you. I also tried using a brush. A flat top kabuki brush in this side. Um, mas, ano nga siya, mas may coverage pag brush yung gagamitin mo. And mas dewy siya. But I evened it out using a clean, clean rubicel sponge. Pero, ayan niya. So, so far, um, ba ito na inis talaga ako sa eyeshadow na to. Right at, um, right off the bat, I can tell you na, Aside from... Actually, no first na, na tinake ko yon yung video na yon sobrang dry talaga ng skin ko. And ma, right now, my skin is improving so far. I really like how my skin is improving right now. A week after, I don't know, no, wala na yung dry spots dito. Hindi skincare update ko yet. Pero yon so wala. Wala siyang, hindi siya nagsasettle dito kasi nga wala. Pero dito... Mm, meron pang konti. Hindi, siya, hindi niya ganong na-hide yung reddesses. So, parang nakatatlong papal ako para niya ma-hide yun. But anyway, like I said, we will be testing the wear time slash longevity of this foundation, not a new review. So, I will be right back. Hey guys, so it is now 4.05pm. I'm sorry, I was not able to update earlier. So, ayan, tingnan natin siya. Parang wala naman ako ng hike. Um, there are no major difference. There's no major difference. Yung nail polish ko. Mm, hindi man ako nag-oil up so far. Kasi ngayon naman ako oily. Pero, ayan. Um, Nag-fade siya ng slight here. Kasi nga, sinampo ako. So, understandable naman yun. Nag-fade rin siya ng konti dito. Kasi nga, nagpapawis ako dyan. So, ayan, may redness na dito na nagpipik. Tapos... Tapos, um, ayan, nakikita na rin yung, I don't know if you can see that. Pero, nakikita na rin yung broken capillaries ko dyan. Ayan, so far yun lang. Yung mga rednesses ko, medyo nagpipik na dito, dito. As well as yung broken capillaries ko here. Nag-fade yung foundation here kasi nga, um, sinampo ako. Tapos, yun. So far, that's it. I like it. Um, ayan. Nagkakaroon ako ng... Ayan. Nandiyan pa naman yung contour ko. Ayan pa. Nandiyan pa yung... Ayan. Nandiyan pa. Everything's... Everything's still intact so far. So, ayun. So far, okay pa naman. And I will update you guys later. I'm now... Um, magtatrabaho na ako ngayon. Buhay. Home-based. So, uh, maybe I'll update you guys two to three hours later. Bye. Hey guys, so it is now 7:40 p.m. So, um, di ko na alam kung pangalan ko tong update. But nakalimutan ko sabihin kanina na um halos totally nag-fade na yung dito niya, dito ko. Um and ayun nya wala nang foundation dyan, dyan. Tapos, yun, nagpi-peek through na talaga yung redness ko and I did blot just just ngayon lang kasi ngayon lang talaga just to see if um o oh, hindi ba? O oh, hindi? O oh, nag-transfer ba? And hindi naman so far. I use the Gatsby blotting sheets. This one. So, ayan. Then, I also use the tissue paper to see if it will transfer. And, ayan pa naman siya. So, ayan. 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 So, ibig sabihin, I guess, may kinakapitan pa talaga siyang foundation. So, ayan. Yun lang yung masasabi ko. Meron, marami pa. As in dito, ayan, no? may, may coverage pa dyan. Meron pang, meron pa akong na-feel na, na foundation. Pero dito, ayan, dito. Dito, especially right here. Sorry, I keep on staring at the monitor because I really want to I really want to make sure that I am pointing at the right part of my face. But anywho, ayan. So, ayan, dito. Sobrang pula na niya. Kasi nga, nag-peak through na yung redness ko. Tapos, um, shiny na ako dito. Especially, ayan, my T-zone. Ayan. Ayan. Uh, overall, it lasted for like, 
Magsa 7 hours na. Hindi, mag, sorry. Mag-8 hours na pala. My bad. Mag-8 mag hours na siya. So, I will let you guys know for my final update. I don't know kung sandali na lang yon or whatever. Pero, yun. Hey guys! Last and final update. It is now 11... 11 ba? No. 10.37. Magtatanggal na ako ng makeup maya-maya. Pero in fairness, hindi ko matimukha ko while I was... While I have this or while this is on my face. Kasi merong mga foundations na nangangati talaga yung mukha ko. I don't get any breakouts from them pero nangangati lang talaga. Ano yun na? Plus side yun considering I did not have any primer or maybe my skin is just really good these days because I'm trying this new skincare routine but yeah so let's just see um uh na test ko rin kahit paano yung wear, na wear test ko rin siya kasi I cried earlier don't ask pero um ay natanggal na talaga siya dito kasi wala na talaga siya tapos Dito, wala na rin. Pero in fairness, meron pang konting nagtatransfer. Pagpina... Ayan o. Can you see that? Like, meron pa rin. Ayan o. And meron pa rin konting contour. So, this, um, this for me, this cushion is really long lasting for me. I don't have um I have normal to dry skin so it lasted me for like <laughs> like 11 hours na. So yeah, so I I hope that is like an enough evidence for you to try it out if you have normal to dry skin this will really really be good for you I assume naman maganda rin siya for for oily skin kasi nga nag out of stock sa palagi ito na lang siguro yung susuting kong cushion sa wedding kasi nga maganda naman yung coverage niya pero ayan ito natanggal na siya tas dito tanggal na rin yung dito pero yung dito kung saan hindi talaga kaya you know pag... but in fairness you guys I am in an air conditioned room so, walang, so, I am in an air-conditioned room, so wala masyadong, kumbaga, hindi, hindi ako masyadong nainitan. Hindi ko siya na-test sa init ng, ilalim ng init ng araw, despite sobrang init niya yun. Pero yun yan, naka-aircon kasi ako. So, maybe that factors into the longevity as well. But yun nga, but still, I still look decent, I still look presentable. My foundation is still intact, so yun lang. Um, I'm gonna end this review, and, um, nag-give ko naman na siguro yung final thoughts ko. I'm just gonna lay it right here. New pros and cons. So, yun. So, yes. Thank you very much for watching this video again. Um, I'll, I'll be putting... Um, updates at the comments down below how it wears if you have a primer and if you really bake and everything so bye guys